be showing you how to present a nice looking gallery inside iWeb and I'm going to be using the tools that come with iWeb so it's easier for you to use and you've already got the tools on your computer and I'm going to be using some pictures that I've already taken and this one and I will use that one there and that one there and I'll just use free for time being obviously you can apply these rules a lot more Once you've got them inside Iowa, what you need to do is you're going to resize every single one so that they're a bit more uniform. And I'm going to resize them to about 150. And I've got constraint properties on so it keeps them the same resolution. It doesn't distort your image. And I'm going to take them to the top. And the first thing I'm going to do is highlight them all and go up to arrange and distribute objects and then you want them to go horizontally and it makes this spacing here and this spacing here even and if you've got more and more and more it'll make it even as well and the next thing we're going to do is format mask with shape and then do a rounded rectangle or you can choose any other, uh, any other shape you'd like and I'm going to select 150 on there, and that gives me that way. Line that up. And again, just take that out to the corners. And on this one, format, mask with shape, rim rectangle, 150. And my height on this picture is 112. So I'm format mask with shape, rounded rectangle, 150, 112. And again, I'm going to distribute them evenly, horizontally. And now, what I'm going to do is go down to the bottom and press the shape toolbar and go down and find rounded rectangle again and I'm going to click all of these, all of your images that you put in, right click on them and tell it to bring that to the front and it will bring it in front of this box, the box is now behind and I'm going to put that behind it that's even that there. There we go. And if we go down to colours, and I'm going to use a colour fill. And select dark black. But I'm not going to use all black because my background's black. So I'm just going to use a grey colour. And then click and drag that into the box. Let's make it a bit darker. Make those pictures stand out. And there we go. And I'm going to get a text box. And make it into that size. And then go to uh, text up onto the inspector. And select the center it. And I'm going to click and drag it to the same size of this box that I've made behind the pictures. And type in here photos on a. Out. and click all that and go back down to colours and select a white colour and it's made that white and that looks better than anything that mobile me or anything else that can handle on iWeb and you could lead into other ones and I'm just going to show you some other masks that you could have, you could have triangle right hand triangle arrow, double arrow, diamonds, quote bubbles, and anything that's down in this shape bar here. And obviously you can make your pictures as much as you want. But the other things that are in iWeb to use in things like this is if I have them spaced all in line, but not evenly that way, 
you can go up to arrange distribute objects vertically. And it'll do exactly the same for you, but vertically. I'm just going to put them back in. Like that. And thank you for watching my video. Remember to rate and subscribe and comment on my videos. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.